This is a project about public engagement with uh, Viking heritage in different parts of Britain and Ireland and it's a project for PhD students in different disciplines in Norse and Viking studies and the idea is that the PhD students come here to the British Museum to look at the exhibition. They've been prepared beforehand and then afterwards they go out to various locations where they'll work with local partners to produce information about the Viking heritage of the five areas that they're going to. The five areas being uh, Cleveland in the northeast of England, the Isle of Man, uh, the Hebrides and uh, two places in Ireland, Dublin and Cork. We're, ma we're basically making a trail, a Viking trail of the Isle of Man, so we're especially looking at stone sculpture um, and sort of archaeo archaeological evidence. We're also working with the Children's University where we will be teaching um, a runic workshop and archaeological workshop. We'll be reenacting a burial, the Balatir burial, so lots of exciting things. I'm part of a team going to Cleveland, so in the north of North Yorkshire, um, and it's an area which was on the periphery of the main area of Scandinavian settlements um, in northern England, um, and it's an area where there are plenty of traces of the Scandinavians and things like place names, like the place name uh, Loftus is a the place name with parallels in Norway, um, but where the Scandinavian story isn't really told. So we're going up there to sort of hunt for the Vikings in Cleveland. In my view, they were amazing in you know, sort of being global players at a time when we're not thinking about globalization. They went from Baghdad, you know, sort of to the New World. They connected Europe. They connected us in a way that we haven't probably seen before, either as victims or as people who worked with them. So I think, you know, sort of there's something very important to remember that. And of course, today there is a lot of thinking about identity. Where do I come from? Who am I? People are getting interested in local and regional history and so to make them aware of an aspect that they might not have considered is also a good thing. I think it's very important. One of the real challenges with exhibitions is to get information across to a wider public which is based on current and up-to-date research and the only way to do that is to have an active dialogue between specialists in the subject and the public through whatever medium we can find. And so projects like this, uh, exhibitions, the work we're doing uh, alongside the exhibition with the cinema broadcasts, uh, they're all ways of getting that information out to a large number of people. And a lot of the new work is un unfamiliar to many people, although in some cases it's not really that new. Some of this is 10, 20, even 30 years old, but still seen as new and surprising to the non-specialists. So anything that gets it out there is great. Thank you.